Hello everyone, I'm Aaron, a birding naturalist. Welcome to my channel. And happy Pride! It's Pride Month right now, and I thought that would be a great time to take a look at the natural world and see how often homosexuality and bisexuality and those kinds of behaviors occur in animals. I will preface this entire conversation with a statement that, you know, an acknowledgement that I am not a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. And so, particularly if you are a member of that community, um, but really anybody else, if I misstate something, misrepresent something, misuse a term or anything like that, please, by all means, uh, educate me in the comments. I'm always trying to grow and learn more and do better. So looking at LGBTQ plus behaviors in the natural world, turns out they are incredibly common. It is crazy widespread. Over four, well over 450 different species of animals have been found to display some level of, let's say, gayness. This can include mammals. This is including birds. This is including lizards. This is including fish. This is including insects. Lots and lots of different kinds of animals show lots and lots of different combinations of mating systems. So, to give you a few examples, um, start off with birds, because I'm a birder. I like birds. About 25% of black swans, these are these beautiful black swans in Australia, have been shown to form male-male pair bonds. And functionally, how it works is two male swans will perform courtship displays, they will form pair bonds, they will establish territories, they will form a relationship with a female black swan just long enough for her to lay eggs in their nest. And then the two males will actually drive the female off and raise the chicks, incubate the eggs, and raise the chicks all on their own. So exclusively, basically exclusively, male-male relationships in black swans. Switching over to mammals, something like 20 different species of bats have been observed to at least at some point interact with same-sex partners. Uh, and this can range over a variety of different behaviors, courtship, mating, lots of stuff. Sheep, males, have been found at a rate of about 8 to 10 percent of the population to be exclusively homosexual, where male sheep will completely ignore females and only interact and only form sort of courtshipy personal relationships with other males. And on top of that, something like 18 to 22 percent of male sheep display bisexual behavior, where they will, at least at some point in their life, interact and conduct, sort of have relationships with both genders. Giraffes are crazy. Really, really high proportion of giraffe matings seem to be same sex. 94% of observed matings of wild giraffes are one male, with another male. 94%. Reptiles, there are parthenogenic uh, lizard species. Parthenogenesis means one sex producing babies without the interaction with another sex at all. So there are actually lizard species where the entire species, every member of the species is female. There are no males. And yet they do reproduce. And so as a part of that reproductive cycle, females will court other females and perform mating behaviors very similar to mating behaviors found in other species that have males and females. And these two females will sort of stimulate ovulation and stimulate egg laying 
And so it's, it's part and parcel of their mating behaviors, even though in that species, no males exist. In insects, dragonflies are a fascinating example that I've just recently learned about. So it turns out when dragonflies mate, the male body parts actually sort of do some damage when they grasp on to mate with another partner. So they leave kind of this telltale sign behind after they mate. And looking at 11 different species of dragonfly, rates between 20 and 80% of male dragonflies show evidence of mating with another male dragonfly. 20 to 80%. So these kinds of behaviors happen extensively in the natural world. Now, it's worth noting that because of just our limitations in tracking individuals of wild animal species, it's sometimes hard to know how much of these interactions are of an individual that is exclusively mating with members of its own sex. And how many of these examples may show sort of some fluidity. Sometimes we know for sure. Sometimes we just don't know. A lot of this is just a fact of the fact that it's hard to track wild animals for, you know, every day or every month or every year of their life when they're out doing their things out in the wild. But I strongly suspect that as animal tracking technology gets better and as we're able to learn more, more and more commonly, we will observe homosexual behavior. And in particular, I'd lay good odds on bisexual. I'll bet that things are a lot more fluid than we give them credit for right now. I will bet that actually strict homosexuality and strict heterosexuality are kind of less common and some fluid in the middle bisexual pansexuality is much more common than we find it right now. It's just out there waiting to be discovered. So not only is it found in all of these wide ranging taxonomic groups, it's also found all across the world from deserts to the Arctic and Antarctic and everywhere in between. So being gay, being LGBTQ plus, or some combination of that, as far as we could possibly apply those concepts to animals, seems to be an incredibly common, incredibly natural part of the wild world that we observe and study. So I hope that if you have ever heard the argument, that, oh, being gay is unnatural, that maybe you can use some of the information in this video to help push back against that idea. I, I hope that if you have ever used the argument, oh, being gay is unnatural, that after hearing this information and maybe investigating a little bit further on your own, you stop using that argument because it's factually in error. And I hope that if you are a member of the LGBTQIA community, that you understand that you are absolutely a part of the natural world and yeah, completely normal, completely within the realm of what is commonly found in the animal diversity that we see. Thank you very much for the view. Subscribe to the channel. Happy pride. And until next time, enjoy the natural world. Thank you.